You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Up next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that is Rashid Cyber 2. It's that season of all seasons once again. And as Shison lingers on, let us share and care and enjoy amazing Rashid entertainment that's found only here. On RVT, where it's Rashid all the time. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. Hello everybody, this is Rashid. And I want to personally thank you so much for so many YouTube subscribers. And together with the millions of views on my Google page, I think it's safe to say we're well on our way, huh guys? Thanks for making RVT so successful. So I tell you what, you keep doing what you do, and we'll do the same round here. Deal? Deal. So relax. This is RVT, Rashid's video tool. Where's Rashid all the time? Oh, what an atmosphere. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season.
This RVT Rashid's video tube broadcasting is brought to you partly by the Rashid and Jan show and by delicious refreshing strawberry milk. Drink an explosion of strawberry flavor in every drop. So like Rashid and Jan say, drink up. You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashi's RVT. You're watching RVT Rashi's video too. Oh, what an atmosphere. You're watching RVT! Fun, 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 fun! Hello, and this is Father Rashid. And knowing that this is the season for nothing but pure love and giving, I want to wish you a very happy shyster. Crispy. It helps you wake up in the morning. In fact, bacon is an any time of the day treat. When you hear the sizzle and the smell of it is alarming to the senses. It's no wonder why people can't resist it. Bacon lovers know that bacon makes everything better. Treat the taco. Treat it well, if you can keep it together. Oh, the mighty bacon. The animals love it too. It's a fact that one strip of bacon only had 3.3 total milligrams of fat and zero trans fat, zero. And only nine milligrams of cholesterol, nine. And 45 milligrams of potassium and only 43 calories. 43 so flip that bacon crispy who could resist this meat so now what do you say nothing if you're a true bacon lover keep a smile on her face as she cleans the plate if it's one thing that she'll be on it is bacon shop today or go online for nutritional info fact. Look on your social devices. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's my cheese mansion's mouse. And I want to help you guys get a good night's rest. Take a look. Oh, my back. Oh. Oh. 
Why should you guys suffer with stiff back, achy joints, and so on from a worn out mattress? There are hundreds of affordable mattress dealers in your area, and all is needed is you. Reliable mattresses that fit your comfort level. Spring design style, chic and firm. Thank you, Rushy Mattress Mosh. Anytime, an RET ad is worth two in a hole. And speaking of ads, don't forget about this one. And size your bedding up for comfort. A new mattress and a good night's rest awaits you. Just go to www.mattress.com. That's www.mattress.com. Anyway! Isabella, Rashid's startling adventurous computer novel created and written by Rashid. A Rashid Greek mythology story narrated by Rashid himself. Now streaming on RVT Rashid's video tube. Come follow along today. Hello there. I'm Frosty, Rashid's Talking Donut, and I want to take this time to tell you about how delicious we are. Early in the morning, we can be a real pleaser teaser. Chocolate, strawberry, blueberry too. One bite of us and your mouth is on vacation from the normal sensation. And the good thing about it is that we're all over the place. From grocers to bakery, we can always be found so soft. So moist and topped with icing, we're irresistible. So what have we learned, napkin? That you need me to go with you. You don't say what a pair we make, huh? So treat yourself to a delicious donut, or two, or three, at your nearest grocer's or bakery. Or just head on over to www.donut.com. That's www.donut.com. Wandering, wandering, till you come across something quite familiar to you. So I think you have the right address. So, come on in, why dotto, my lovely? Now isn't Rashid the lucky one? I'm Rashid. Now that the past is in the past, let all my Annettes come to me in one hilarious show, The Rashi and Annette Show, talking about subjects that's not common today. This show has what you're looking for. I'm talking about serious news gossip here, guys. Guys, y'all will not believe what I came across today. Y'all will not believe this. I gotta show you this. From rescuing fair maintenance to sass. I think it's fair to say that this Rashid's world is not like yours. Wanna have a hobby? We got that! Want comics? Got that too! I'm space officer of the... Let me see. I'm... I'm space officer of the Rashi Space Patrol. Good! You're doing good, Jer! Where the stream being punk at? Don't worry about the stream being punk! Just do your job! Uh, alright, alright, yeah, alright, alright. As my Annette follows me around finding out which house I'm in, we get completely outrageous. But then, mm, she finds me. I guess it was kind of a surprise my coming here all of a sudden, wasn't it? Not really. I was waiting for you. You always find me. Why didn't they know about me? 
they knew about you. They seen you on the, the show. They know how much I love you. I told them that on the show. And that, and that, and that, that's a long story. Um, 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 listen, listen. Do you like butterscotch strawberry cake? Oh, boy, I do. Then it's set up. We eat. And you guys, I know I'll be seeing you on the Rashi and Annette show here on RBT. Only here on RBT. We're going to hang out and eat some cake. You found me. Yeah, I always tell them about you, you know? You know how we go back, um, uh, remember what we used to talk about the, um, uh, I think I forgot, I think I forgot. Uh, that must have been a long time ago. Yeah, it must have been, it must have been. Come on, you're standing too close to the microphone, come on, let's go eat. Come on, <laughs> Hey guys, let me tell you about this great music floating around RBC Rashid's video tube, Rashid's karaoke. Oh, you can't beat these sounds. Yesteryear sounds, rocking sounds that we rock to. Here's a few coming right at you. Just check it out. All found on RMJC Rashid's Music Jukebox Center. Rashid's Karaoke, singing some of the greatest past hits of yesteryear. Here's more. Yo, who said disco is dead? Studio 54 favorites. Buck, buck, buck. You know it. So come freak out because the freak is back. Growl. Now streaming. Hit the Rashid's video. Why is delicious hot oatmeal so good for so many families? Oatmeal is rich in protein. 
A breakfast with delicious oatmeal with milk and sugar for a family of four provides as much total protein as six average eggs. As much total protein as 18 pieces of toast. And almost as total protein as 18 strips of bacon. That's why your family get that wonderful stick to the ribs feeling with hot oatmeal. That wonderful feeling of well-being with only one minute of actual cooking time. So be sure your family get the protein they need with the delicious hot breakfast of hot oatmeal. Just go over to www.oatmeal.org. That's www.oatmeal.org. You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station. So I was cruising, surfing, whatever, doing absolutely nothing, saying nothing either. Then I came across Rashid's RVT. Then I asked, what is this? Who is this? And why is this? Then it made me smile. Not necessarily like the famous Hollywood scenes of Robert De Niro and Popper's now, and not like a train wreck either. That's a different type of entertainment that doesn't focus on the obvious. It's plain Rashid, Rashid's video too. So stop being afraid. <laughs> You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Love to lick and smell that peanut butter. Love to taste and smear that peanut butter. Love to lick and smear and taste and eat that rich and creamy peanut butter. Love to lick and smell that peanut butter. Love to taste and smear that peanut butter. Love to lick and smear and taste and eat that rich and creamy peanut butter. Full of vitamins and minerals. Health benefits to the extreme. Pick up some at your nearest grocers or go online at www.peanutbutter.com. That's www.peanutbutter.com. Hello, and this is Father Rashid. And knowing that this is the season for nothing but pure love and giving, I want to wish you a very happy Shaisa. And now, enjoy the show. Hi everybody, hey everybody, welcome to RVT, this is RVT Rashid's video too, in conjunction with RMJC, Rashid's Music Jukebox Center, and I am Rashid Armand, coming on live on social media, Google+, Plus, YouTube, Instagram, and other social media platforms. How you guys doing? I'm glad you guys are here. Guys, I am so excited, I'm so ecstatic, because I have my show back. Uh-huh, I have my show back, and I'm glad you guys are tuning in. Now, you know, on this show right here. We kick back and talk about different things. Now, what happened was, I told you that I have Rashid the Mystical Sorcerer, and I have other shows that I can't get to right now. The Rashid YouTube radio show, because they're locked away on this other file, and I have to find a way to get to that file to open it up so I can get these shows. So right now, it's very scanny. You know, I gotta wait until I get around to it and this is one of the shows but what I did was I I reopened it I re did it because there's nothing it's nothing to it so I redid this one 
<coughs> and it's strange stories and philosophies. And philosophies. <laughs> I know <what> I'm <laughs> I was just so happy. <laughs> philosophies. That's funny. Anyway. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. <laughs> I just had a thought in my head. It's it's right it's the wrong thought. <laughs> That's a horrible thought. It, a, it just came out of me. I don't know where to get philosophies. But uh, that's a wrong thought that into my head. I will not repeat it on the air. But that's so funny shit. <laughs> philosophies. You know, philosophies, okay? Oh, God, it's funny. That thought was funny, but I will not repeat that one. Anyway, philosophies. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Philosophies damn it. And um <laughs> and I got it back and I'm so excited I got this show back, man. I'm so excited that <clears throat> Da -da -da -da! On RVT, um, Strange Stories and Philosophies is here, and we'll be talking about some, uh, anything. Y'all be quiet and listen to me. Stop thinking things. Don't worry about it. It's in the past. And we kick back on here, alright? And we talk about some stuff that, the, uh, uh, that, that we can't find, really, unless we go searching on social media. I say social media because I know it's not a mainstream. There ain't no damn way that the things we talk about on this show, yeah, yeah, right, sweet, it's going to be on some mainstream. There's no damn way. So you got to start, you got to search on social media to find what we talk about on this show. Social media, not mainstream, different. So, in this episode of Strange Stories and Philosophies, we're going to start off with talking about the paranormal. All right, we're going to start off by talk and talk about the paranormal and how we view these stories. Or maybe we ourselves have came across something really, really weird and really, really odd in our life that cannot be explained to this very day. Um, maybe these date back to when we were children. Maybe these date back to when we had a certain when we had a certain job employment, or maybe they date back to when we used to live in a certain area or house. Either either the like we all have, or most of us have some kind of paranormal story that that to this day is a mystery. For most of us, home exists as a sanctuary. You see, it keeps the world out, outside at bay. But for some, early sounds and strange happenings change their safe haven into a place of fear. To be scared. One must admit the fact that things that goes bump in the night can usually cause a stir within us. Especially when they're bump in the night when those things are in the same house as we are. And when you really think about it, who knows what really dwells besides ourselves on the Earth's surface? For instance, one army officer insists that while in Afghanistan, he saw really odd shapes shifting while he was on patrol. Now we seem to have come across stories like these from time to time, but have you ever figured out why? Can we be sure these stories are true? After all, they're supposed to be. On social media, for instance, there's a very powerful documentary, supposed to be the number one documentary, describing strange happenings underground. 
with over 3 million people passing through every day underground subway tunnels, someone is bound to see something of the odd. And if not the people, then what about the workers? These workers had come forward and, st and stood out and admitting, admittingly proclaiming they saw supernatural dwellings on the ground in the subway stations. And of course, y'all know burial grounds, dead bodies are in cemeteries on the ground. There's a lot of things happening on the ground. So they came forward saying, you know, we've seen things on the ground, guys. And it's, it's, very, it's a highly anticipated documentary. You can look it up for yourself. The documentary, the documentary itself is called Ghost on the Underground. And it's one of the top 10 documentaries on social media right now. I think you can look it up on YouTube. It's called Ghost on the Ground. And if you're a phenomenal, if, you, if you're phenomenal bent, if you're phenomenal bent, this documentary is highly recommended for you. Very enlightening and is noted as one of the best documentaries to date. You can hear the doors one, two, three, come click. I know that I've been seeing the walk, but all I could do was just sit and look. It's a little unnerving. To this day, I, 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 I can't forget it. Some seem that these admirations are just mind illusions or, or, or hallucinations. But can we be sure that they are? Can we actually 100% rule them out as such when no one who has died have ever came back to justify the claims weren't so or is? It's true, stories and, 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 and rumors will always flood the gossip beat, but some stories raise a respectful questionnaire within ourselves. And that, and that keeps us frozen to make a conclusion on our own. You see. And in London, it is rumored to be the number one capital in paranormal activity. More than any other city in Europe. London is probably the most haunted city in Europe. Is the Tower of London so haunted? Quite simply because there's been so much horror there. The ghost that happened to Court Palace is still not fully explained. Turn herself off. There's no explanation. Catherine's ghost is seen here. Her body mutilated as it was when Jack the Ripper left her. So does violence and chaos that causes corpse consumption the cause for many ghosts and or paranormal activity? In other words, does it matter where we dwell that plays the part in paranormal activity? Does identifying the way some die matter? We would like to think that it does. To distinguish between a past violent area to a non-past violent area will be sort of a shortcut in creating peace and serenity in our humble abode. Needless to say, ghosts can travel and there are many kinds of ghosts. So who's to say some areas are safer than others? To some degree, the experiences that we have faced with the paranormal might not necessarily been in a past violent setting. So what's the excuse for seeing these apparitions? Oh my gosh. Oh. Either unexpected or on command, which requires a Ouija board. Grandpa, are you happy? Yes, indeed. Now when we come back, we'll take a look at the flip side of the spiritual realm and find out another way we might come in contact with ghosts, demons, and the paranormal. Be right back, guys. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time?
You're watching Rashi's RVT. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season. It's India's IT Institute, India's leading computer institute, over 150 centers across India. Call 91229-98333, that's 91229-98333, or just go to www.indiacomputerclass.com, that's www.indiacomputerclass.com. It's India's IT Institute. Call now. Rest, rest, play. Remember, any physical activity requires hours of rest. So be sure and get yours. Or if you need help with sleeping problems, just go to www.needhelptosleep.org. That's www.needhelptosleep.org. Isabella, Rashid's startling adventurous computer novel created and written by Rashid. A Rashid Greek mythology story narrated by Rashid himself. Now streaming on RVT Rashid's video tool. Come follow along today. I'm a child of the 60s and 70s, so I had to do a show about my childhood friends. Me! Wait, Rock. I'm not that guy right there, because uh, Rashid, that guy right there, that guy right there, he can't read in the movie, in the movie, he couldn't read. Yo, Rashid, I can read. Okay, Rock. So guys, come visit your friend. Not this one, but this one. Your buddy, the Red Dot. Or these guys. I'm going to be there. So be sure to check out Rashid's 70s and more. And that right there belongs to me. Give me the belt, Rashid. Here. Only here on RBT. RBT, Rashid's video tube, was proud to announce its affiliation with Disney. Go ahead and wish upon that star and make it true, because Disney is there waiting for you. Okay, 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 I know how you feel, I know how you feel, life is tough, life is hard, life is tough, life is hard, you, when you fall down, you gotta get back up, when you fall down, you gotta get back up, you gotta keep getting back up, you can't stay down, you can't stay down on the ground, you can't, gotta get, keep getting back up, I know life is hard, life is tough, Supermarket. this is why I gotta do it, you watch your RBT, Rashid's video too, when's Rashid all the time? Oh murder! Good to the last drop, okay? Good to the last drop. Knock it off!
You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Welcome back, guys. The supernatural, a subject surprisingly not mentioned much today, but unfathomably still exists today. And I'm Rashid, your host. Now, shall we continue? Continue, we shall. Mexico City, home to 20 million people. Most of them Catholics. Now, the church forbids any dealings with witchcraft, saying it's the work of the devil. But for many Mexicans, the allure of magic, both good and evil, is irresistible. And that goes for a lot of people, you know. Believers find the tools of witchcraft at the Sinoa witch market. Anthropologist Anthony Zavaleta has studied the market for 25 years. In every cranny in this maze, witch doctors peddle their cures. It's a market for even the most gruesome weaves. Along with goods, the markets provide services. Way in the back rooms behind the stalls, Nearly anything is possible. Spells can be cast. Customers can have their spirits cleaned or engage in satanic rites. It's all here. Curses fly, powered by wing of bat and tongue of pig. There is inevitably too much to cover when it comes to witchcraft and ghosts, the paranormal and such. But to clarify what the word witchcraft means, as pointed out in the Wicca, witchcraft is the practice of magic, especially black magic. The use of spells and the invocation of spirits. In other words, witchcraft or witchery boldly means the practices of and belief in magical skills and abilities exercised by solitary practitioners and groups. So, uh, how I wish I could really indulge further in this venture with you guys. I really do. We all do it around here. We love it around here. But unfortunately, our time is up. But what do you guys think of the paranormal witchcraft or the like genre? Do you believe it or not? Many speculate that the majestic age is over. But for hundreds or even millions of us that still believe this age didn't even start yet. So in other words, suit yourself. I'll be back on strange stories and philosophies with yet more mind tenderizing subjects that only the soul searchers can relate to. And thank you guys for tuning in. And now on behalf, on behalf, on behalf of me, Rashid, and my crew, I bid you good night. Take care, everybody. This has been an RVT Rashid's Video to social media television production.
Can somebody give these girls some socks? Good girl. This program was brought to you by Rashid's Cyber Rock Films in conjunction with YouTube and Google Plus and social media plug out. It's all about change, real change. Peace. Up uh, next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that is Rashid Cyber 2. It's that season of all seasons once again. And as Shison lingers on, let us share and care and enjoy amazing Rashid entertainment that's found only here. On RVT, where it's Rashid all the time. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I'm starving. Uh, I guess that's my cue. Uh. Hey, what are you doing on my plate of hush puppies? You're not just gonna eat those plain. Well, well, I plan to, but the question still is, what are you doing on my plate of hush puppies? Uh, do you want some advice before you eat those? Well, I guess a little advice wouldn't hurt. Won't you try dipping them in hot sauce? Hot sauce? Yes, hot sauce. Um, in my plate of hush puppies. Why not? Hot sauce is excellent. When it comes to hush puppy fries or anything else, it gives you that extra spunk. Maximize taste and delicious. Hmm, so that explains why you're in my plate of hush puppies. Exactly. Okay, I'll give it a try. Starting with this. Mmm. Not bad. Of course not bad. It will spice your mouth to a sizzling flavor. It sure does. Hmm. So I guess that means you won't be eating me. Hmm, you better guess again. Uh-oh. So the next time you guys are out crunching and munching, don't forget about hot sauce. For enhanced flavor. You can say that again. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's cooking? Hot dog. Just an hot dog. Delicious wiener. 
bun. Delicious then, delicious now. A hot dog is high in potassium and rich in vitamin B, 13%, and it tastes great. Did you know a hot dog is a sausage? In definition, a hot dog is a fully cooked sausage grilled and served in a bun as a sandwich. Plump and juicy, how can you resist? Not that expensive and promising. Think back to childhood with hot dogs and baked beans and how the smell got you aroused with mouth water. An American ball game eatery tradition. It's no wonder why the all-American hot dog is still one of the number one best pastime snacks. Where the pork, beef, or chicken is guaranteed to satisfy. So go out and have a wiener. Look for money-saving coupons and papers in news ads. Hey, having spaghetti tonight? A whole lot of vegetables. Sauce just the way you like it. It's the thickest, heartiest sauce ever. Made with a whole lot of plump, juicy tomatoes. Special seasonings and spices. With that zesty, full-body tomato taste. Now you're eating spaghetti. So serve up some Italiano at its best. Now at your local market. Or go online at www.italiancooking.org. That's www.italiancooking.org. You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Up next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that is Rashid Cyber 2. It's that season of all seasons once again. And as Shison lingers on, let us share and care and enjoy amazing Rashid entertainment that's found only here on RVT, where it's Rashid all the time. 